Hello guys, my name is Jesse Humphrey and today I will share with you how to draw a stunning reception table and its chair by using Microsoft Excel. For our table to look amazing, we need to we need to get rid of the grid lines. So just go to the view tab then you remove the grid lines. After that, just go to the insert tab, then go to the illustrations, then go to shapes. Then after that, you go to this basic shapes group. There's some other shapes here, but you're looking for a shape known as the block arc shape, which is over here. So you just select it, then just click once then it will appear over there so we need our shape to be more bigger and wider so you just drag over here you drag it you drag it until it becomes more bigger and more realistic at the table after that for us to edit our shape you need to right click on our shape then go to format shape after going to format shape you need to go to the effects. Then you need to go to 3, 3D rotation so that we can rotate our shape in a 3D form. So let's rotate it downwards. There it is. So after that, we need our table to have a, to have depth. So you just need to go to the 3D format area, then the size of the depth, you can just increase it over here. You see, now our table is getting it, its shape. Now, after there, we need to, our, our table need to look, needs, needs to look stunning and more more amazing so we need to color it you just go to the fill and line area then choose fill then after choosing solid fill just go to the colors so as you can see there are a lot of colors over here but we need one color that can suit our table perfectly so we have we already have this brown color that it, that just looks amazing on our table. So as you can see, our depth, the depth of our table isn't colored. So you just you should just collapse the fill area, then just go to the effects. After going to the effects, you need to go to 3D format and go to depth. So this is where we can give our depth a color. Then you choose the depth. You see, now our depth has the color. After that, after that, you need to you need to color our line. As you can see, there's a really thin line over here that is not well colored. So we need also we need that also to have its color. So just close this area, then go to the fill and fill in line. Then you cannot choose fill again. You can just choose line, then go to the color area, then choose color. As you can see, guys, our table now looks amazing, but it's not stunning enough. So we need to de to somehow decorate it. So just go to the effects. After going to the effects, go to 3D format. And just go to this area known as the top bevel so that you can choose how your top will look like. You see, we have a, we have a lot of a lot of choices over there. We have the round one, we have relaxed incense, we have cross, we have slant, but the one which lo really looks amazing is cross. You see, now our table has, has a really good shape, guys. After that, guys, I think we are done with the table. The table looks so amazing, perfect and stunning. So we just need to go to start with the chair. The chair, you just need to go to the insert area, you go to illustrations and go to shapes. Then you need to go to the types of rectangles, 
we have the normal rectangle, we have rectangle round, rounded corners, we have rectangle single corner snip, but we need the rectangle rounded corner. So just select it and just click it over there and it will appear. So we need to, you know, flip it so that it can almost look like a 3D realistic chair. So just go to 3D rotation again, then start flipping it like this. This might take a really long time and it's somehow complicated, but you need to flip it till it has its perfect shape, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still doing the flipping. This might take some few moments, guys. Mm -hmm. So guys, we need to flip it so that it can look perfect as a chair. Okay, after that, we need to give it its depth. So as we did on the table, just go to 3D format, then go to the depth. You see, now our chair has, has its depth so that our chair can look really realistic. Okay, after that we need the we need the other parts of the chair. We just go to insert shapes and then go to select the same this the same shape again. Then did as we did the last time just flip it correctly till it looks realistic and amazing guys just go to 3d rotation yeah there it is And then, as you remember, guys, our shape needs to have its depth. So we just go to the depth part again, then stop giving it its depth. Let's rotate it well first. Now, as you can see, guys, our shape, our chair looks actually realistic, but we haven't finished it. So I'll, I'll, I'll advise you guys to go take the next shape as, uh, as a cylinder for the stand of the chair. Just click once, then it will appear. But when you just click once, it, it appears really big, so you need to reduce it like this. After reducing it like that, now it looks like the stand of the chair. Now, guys, we haven't finished our chair yet, so just go back to the shapes area and choose another rectangle 
reduce it. This is gonna be used as the wheel holders of our chair. Yeah, let's do on the other side, also on the other sides. Just reduce it. I think you can see that guys, our uh, chair looks almost done, but not yet. We still need another part of the chair and the wheels. So just go to, back to the rectangle part. We just do a rectangle and maybe like that. Don't forget to reduce it. Flip it again. Yeah, that looks good, guys. So just go to the insert tab again, go to shapes, and we're gonna use these ovals as our chair wheels so that our chair can look more realistic. Yeah, that will do. We'll go back to this and do that over and over till all the whole chair stands are are having their wheels. As you can see, guys, our chair is now ready, but not actually yet because our chair has been constructed using a lot of a lot of shapes. So, guys, we need to group all this up so that it can be one figure. So, first of all, you need to hold the control button while selecting the shapes that we used to construct the chair. Select it like that, select it like that, over and over for, for all the shapes. Then you need to right click. After right clicking, you just go to this place written group. Then you see, now our chair is grouped as one. Now you can just move it freely, not with the other shapes. Now, as you know, guys, we need to color our chair. Just go back to the fill option, then go to fill, solid fill. Then which color suits best our chair? It's black, right? Okay, let's choose black. Yeah, black. Black is well. Black is really good, guys. Black will do. Then go to the line area again. Choose your color. Then choose black. You see now our chair looks more realistic and good. Okay. For our picture to look more attractive, we need to have a reflection of it. So just go to uh, the effects. Then go to reflection. We have the presets over here. These are the presets, reflection variations. You see, we have different, you see tight reflection touching, half reflection touching, full full reflection touching, full reflection, four point offset. But yes, let's just choose this one over here. Okay, that doesn't suit our picture well. Let's choose this one. Yeah, that looks more better. And we should also, have the reflection of our reception desk over there. 
See, that also looks good. So guys, now you have your own reception table and reception share cre created using Microsoft Excel. Thank you.